Bush's attack, a left a street vendor badly beaten and in a hospital. Two men also robbed him. Yeah, it happened in the Baldwin Hills area, and CBS 2's Joe Kwan spoke with people who say the vendor had just recently been doing business in the area. I'll see him uh, selling fruit. You know, I'm trying to make a living. That man who didn't want to show his face says he saw Margarita Munoz with a fruit cart nearly every day here at the intersection of La Brea and Coliseum. In the afternoon. Alicia Rome lives nearby and says she saw Munoz often. And I usually would see him when I'm going home. Locals say Munoz had been selling fruit right here next to this bus stop on Coliseum for the past few months. They say he'd show up around noon and leave following the afternoon commute. Rome's daughter Jalise says his fruit cart was pretty popular. Popular. During the week, like everybody at the bus stop will have fruit. Last week, police say the fruit vendor was attacked. Detectives say a man ordered fruit from Munoz, but says the man refused to pay. Police say that's when a second man arrived and attacked Munoz with some sort of pipe. Police say the two took cash from Munoz's cart and took off in a white commercial van. It happened last Friday at about a quarter past noon. Somebody had to see it if it happened in the middle of the day. The bus stop is near these apartments, businesses, and this gas station. That has several cameras pointed in the direction of the bus stop. The LAPD says Munoz is in a hospital. You're looking at a picture from a GoFundMe page that's been set up for him. I feel sorry for him, his family. But Roan says she's not surprised by the attack. There's always stuff happening around here. Very dangerous around here, actually. This man agrees. This area is, could get pretty bad at times. He claims recently another street vendor was also targeted. A lady who was selling corn, she got robbed. The LAPD didn't have information about that robbery. In Baldwin Hills, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News.